Hello and welcome back to Hugh. Um, in the last video we got Aqua and Violets, I think the colors are. But throughout the game I'm gonna call them blue and pink or purple. Whatever... Right, I don't know. How do I... oh. Oh, the box is a... This color now. That's cool. But, yeah. <laughs> so, in the last one, she read a note. Well, we got a note that was... I forgot her name. Did she have a name? Oh no. I'm really bad with names. Anyway, the person that writes the notes, the girl that had the research and stuff. She was talking about like impossible colors, which are like colors we can't really see. And I seen the thing while a while ago, which is like, which was like, there are people who can see like, a wider range of colors than like, people can usually see. And there's like famous artists and stuff that have it, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I wonder if those are like the impossible colors that they can see, or something like that. Uh, let's stay on purple. Or pink. Or violet. I don't know. I'm not good with my colors. Ugh. I didn't need that. Okay. Cool. Hello, Dr. Gray. If that's your real name. color this is, please. <laughs> like clockwork. He has like tentacles. It's all over the screen and I still can't tell what color this is. Hello, tell me what color this is, please. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Okay, I thought so. Summer had come and gone in a cold autumnal Christmas had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Wait, um, I'm gonna head back. What color did we need to fix the lighthouse? Can we even- we can't head back. Okay. I thought there was- I thought we can go back for some reason. So, we might end up getting all the colors in here, actually. Oh, this is yellow. Right here. That's red, I think. Why is there a chandelier in a cave? Why did the caves just turn into a dungeon out of nowhere? Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor, and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered more about color than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted, we laughed. 
We worked long hours and soon our goal became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us, and we knew it. So when did he turn evil? He was probably evil all along. Is he even evil? He did steal the work, right? And like shatter the spectrum? And like trap her in the... Okay, so that's blue. <coughs> like deep blue or something. like swing from the chains. Oh cool box. Probably this way. Ooh, they mix. That goes for a cool effect. Wait, where do I go? not know that. Could not get back up. Great. What am I doing? Eh, get over here. Dang it. There. Wait, this can't get through, though. Got it? Now. smoke effects, or dust effects, or whatever. There's a key, and a locked door. Yeah. Okay. Okay then, I'm gonna die a lot, just out of stupidity. Just for the amount of colors that we're gonna end up having, this the puzzles are gonna get super complicated. What do we wanna do? Just get past? Okay, I get it. We're gonna move this one here. This one here, and then this one here, over here. And now we should be able to get across by and I fell. I probably did the colors stupidly. I did. Is stupidly even a word? 
Okay. Made this more complicated than it should be. <laughs> Bam. Oh, uh, no. Oh, we're gonna have to change them fast. Blue. Um. Oh, no, I'm in the thing. Orange. Pick purple color. Blue. Orange. Other color. Jump. Oh my god. Uh. Orange. Blue. Purple. Orange. I did it. complicated. Okay, so... Pink. Orange. Blue. This is... Never mind. It's not more complicated. Pink. Spikes on the ceiling, dangerous. Spooky, scary. Oh, it talks! Hey, watch it, buddy. Skeletons hanging over here. You're not getting under my skin. You don't have skin. You're a skull of bones. You're making me queasy. I don't have the stomach for it. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone, little skull of bones. Am I gonna... Oh, okay, so orange, blue, pink. Blue, pink. Okay, I'm gonna go when the pink, um, or the violet one comes. Probably did, but I refuse.
I think my orange, blue, pink, so orange. I think my problem is with that one was I was going after the like dust went by, even though that wasn't when the what was that noise? Even though that was when the boulder was rolling. He is so mysterious. Ooh, what color are we gonna get? Is he wait? Is he leaving these for us? Maybe he's not bad, cause wouldn't he like take these? That's like almost the same color, and I'm gonna get so confused. This one's fuchsia. This one's fuchsia. So this one's more pink than the other one. Obviously. Yeah, now I can see the difference. This one's purple, pink, orange, blue. The colors are gonna get confusing now. It's funny. I don't remember much after that day on the grass. Just gonna I say do fuchsia know at some point. Dr. Gray and I spent many a time together. I would compliment him on his work and his cheeks would flush with a pinkness. <laughs> He'd oh. notice and change the She's subject not gonna, in She's not gonna say fuchsia then. This work we were doing together, it, it didn't feel much like work anymore. Wait, what's... uh... Boop. Nope. I'm an idiot. This is this color, right? Yeah. Why did I do that? I held R1. I don't know why. Okay, so I gotta take this to the key. But... this gonna work? Ah. Did I mess up? Like, are there point? No. I forgot. I can drag it this way. Give me my box. This is my box. Okay, I doubt I need this box anymore. So. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Oh. Color. Yes. So, we can't just go switching. We gotta switch up there. Two. Blue. Blue. 
I lied. Orange. Orange. Wait, where's the next switching point then? <laughs> oh no. Why is he still running? Oh, okay, so if you um, move and you switch to the other joystick to like switch colors, you'll continue on running until like forever, I guess. Maybe I should switch it to purple? No, not purple. What do I switch it to? Yeah, let's go purple. And then orange? Or blue? No! Oh my god, that was a bad pun. Pigment of your imagination. Yeah! Oh my god, this is confusing. So I'm in blue now. If I switch it to that, could I, could I maybe? No, because that'd be in the way. So. Okay, so there's two right here, which means one of these is the way to get over there. Switch it to blue. Uh, no. How do I get to the key? I'm so confused. Let's try orange. And then. Uh, there's one down there, but that's where I started. I'm in orange right now. I would need to switch it to. None of these connect. Oh! Oh! Ooh! I thought this was a wall. I wasn't even paying attention. I thought that was just all wall over there. I'm back to orange. Okay. I'm good now. Wait. Didn't even die. I say that's an accomplishment. Why am I on the ladder? Where am I going? Let's move this. Move this. This one first. Dang it. So we gotta get the um, pillars, I guess? We gotta get these over here so that we can get across Tis Tingy without hitting the spikes. drop this down. Oops. I want it to be too close. Oops. Um, blue would get it away though. Dang it! All the way to the end. Maybe right, like right there. So it's like in the middle. I don't know. I have to jump too far. How do I 
I get this vine out? Can I push it into it? Maybe? No. Hold on. Maybe I can just drag this over there. Dang it. No, I can't do that because now that's in the way. Ah, okay, I get it. We put this one here. And then... This here? No, nope, not that color. Go with this color. So that we can do this and get that box down. And now we can get across. Let's make it more complicated. Or maybe it was more complicated. What? No. What? I don't know. I was confused for, like, ever. How do we get that key now? Oh, we can move these. We can move these one. Oh, cool. Okay. So, the little skinny ones we can just jump through. doesn't go here. Or does it? It does go there. Because we can't... Yes, we can. Never mind. Do I need that yellow box, though? Maybe I should go for that yellow box. Or orange box. Okay, so we gotta get the orange box through the blue thing. So that we don't land on the spikes when we get the key. Because the blue one can't go through it. Because they're the same color. And now, now what do we do? Uh, we gotta get the purple. We gotta get these opposite of each other. Like, get them facing the separate way.
Okay, so this should work, right? Wow, he's strong. On color. Okay, so that was part two of Hugh. In the next one, we're going to figure out this room and probably get one or two more colors to add to the spectrum of colors we have already. In this one, we got orange and... Uh, what is this called? Fuchsia? Fuchsia. I think it's fuchsia. Then... The one before that, we got aqua and violet. Not sure this is actually called orange, but it probably is. I don't know if there's another co like way to say orange. So this was you again, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.